Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. We are back on the server. In the last one, we did some enchantment uh, experimenting, right? So over here, we set up a pedestals in Enchanter, and, and we messed around with mana pylons, and we can actually get it, you can see in the chat there, to go to a max level of 204. Well, we can even go higher if we place more, but we can't we can't enchant with that level because we just our, our capacity isn't, isn't high enough. So in order to get the capacity high enough on the um, pedestal enchanting upgrade, right? What we did is we tried to automate the process and we sort of did. And, and there's something we can do to instantly, apparently, fix this entire setup. So currently the thought process was we have um, the specific, what are they called? It's in here, I, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. These capacity books, we have these enchanting in here on a loop, just nonstop. Then they can be disenchanted to get the actual book enchantment out. And then the book enchantment plus the actual capacity, much like this recipe here, which for some reason isn't working, but much like this, it would combine them and you'd get the next tier. Um, for some reason, once again, they're not combining. Oh, I do know why. They're not combining because I, I made a bit of a mistake, okay? We were combining the books up and up and up. And what I didn't realize is I think the XP cost to like level them up kept getting higher and higher and higher. You know what I mean? So like it needs an incredible amount of experience to combine these two books because they've been like progressively built up. So it's not really feasible, but, but, but there is something that is, um, okay. 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 So, so, so here's what we want. We want this guy here, the enchantment library from apotheosis. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but we're going to try and get this. So I'm going to need what four hell shelves, which means we need four bookshelves, which are always just an absolute pleasure to try and make one, two, three, four. Beautiful. That's not the end of the world. Um, hell shelves. We want four, obviously put those back away. Um, we will want an enchanting table, quick and easy. And then we want the library itself. No, what do we want? We want, um, it looks like ender chest and then we want the library. Okay. So how does this guy work? Well, I'm going to slap him down here. He looks pretty cool. Oh, he's got some books on top of him. Some nice 3d textures. You love to see it. I'm going to open him up. And as you can see, it's a big empty void. Now here is what I believe I want to do. I, I'm going to be honest. I think we want to pick that stuff up. I think. So we're going to leave that for now. It's going to be broken. This setup, I still think I want. Because what this does is it takes the enchantment off the book. So that should be fine. But what I'm going to do is... Um, what specifically is it? This guy here that's no longer entangled. I'm going to pick up the, the crafter. Um, I'll just put the stuff away. Because maybe we'll repair it and put it back in the future. But for now, we're just going to leave it as it is. Just disconnected. I'm going to grab my entangled binder. I'm going to entangle this library into this book here, right here. Um, we can get rid of the importer at the bottom. That should be fine. And what I want to do is export all of our um, tier five books. So um, specifically, I want to look at um, pedestals, the mod. I want to find the tier five books that we get from our uh, enchanter over there. And I'm going to say, hey, put them all in here. And it doesn't need to be exact. Just put them all in. So what we should see, oh, okay. I think, I think you might see what happened because I said it to not be exact. It has now put every single enchanted book we have in here, which honestly, I don't really mind. I, I, I kind of would have wanted that anyway, but here is the next cool thing. Have a look at this. So we've only, well, I guess we'll put in every book, right? Um, hmm. You know what I want to do? I do want to see if I can like order some of these to be processed again. In fact, I might do it manually. Oh my god, 52. What have I taken out? I'm going to I'm going to take out all of these enchanted books we have and I'm going to take them off of it, right? I'm going to just completely empty them. So, all we have left should just be hopefully, assuming I oh know it's still working. Anyway, it's fine. Um all of them will just be normal books. So, I'm going to I, I guess do this. I'm going to just scroll them in. It might take me a little while, but it's it's for the greater good, okay? We're going to put every single enchanted book we can inside of here. Okay, um, and then what we're probably going to do, I, I've just gone ahead and put them all in, is I think I'm going to pick all this stuff up. We'll probably pick up the uh, crafter again, and we'll just have it be an exporter. Um, so I know we I know we spent quite a little bit of time uh, setting this stuff up, but it's fine. It's fine. Remember, it's for the greater good. Okay, it's for the greater good. I'm going to pick that up. It's going to make a bit of a mess, but that's fine. All of it's just going to be put away, nice and tidy in our system. We're going to grab an exporter. la -dee da -dee da Grab one of these. We're going to search for the pedestal capacity doohickey again. So these ones here, these tier five ones that we're still making a bunch of. 
I'm going to place the exporter on top. I'm going to place in the pedestal capacity five. And now that should be, oh yeah. You know, I, I shouldn't have broken that system that we just had. <laughs> you know what? Actually, no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All I need to grab is the regulator upgrade. And I need to say, Hey, um, just one, please just keep one in there. So now if I take this out, it'll only ever put one in that, uh, in that inventory, which is all we want. And the rest works as you can see. Oh my God. It's flying through them. That is insanity. Okay. okay. All of those, if we go here again, um, in fact, if we just search hashtag or, or if we search enchanted, have a look at this. We have not a single enchanting book in here. They are all within this. That is insanity. So, uh, ho hold on, hold on. If we scroll through here and we go back to the P section and we look for pedestal capacity, max level available is 10. So have a look at this. I believe what I can do is just click on this and withdraw. Oh, no. Do I have to keep clicking it? Oh my God. I keep clicking it. Oh my God. Okay. So now we have a, t <laughs> now we have a, t now we have a tier 10 capacity. So I can just keep clicking this and we get the next tier. And you can look at my levels down here to see them going down. Let's see. Not a single, not a single difference. <laughs> okay. So this is a lot, a lot better than what we were doing before. Like phenomenally better. So now I can grab all these out, the tens. And you might be wondering why I'm grabbing so many tens. It's because we can... We can push it higher. We can push it further. All I need to do is grab some of these capacity books. Just a few of them. I'm hoping... Yeah, they should be fine. Um, we do still need this enchantment applicator to be placed down somewhere. Um, what does this guy go to? Air. Well, we could we could use that. We could use some air. Let's grab you. Place you there. What are you currently exporting? Experience. Well, hey, I need that too. Beautiful. Um, so I know the bar inside doesn't show any experience. But if you look at the top... We can see it's full of experience, like in the top toolbar at the top. No, the tool tip. What, what would you call that? In Whaler at the top. Um, so what I want to do now is put one of these in here with the um, level 10 enchantment. And I want to see if this works. Then I want to place the level 10 enchantment there with a level 10 book. So now they're combining and we should get level, um, what do we call it? 11. We're going to do the same thing with another book. We're going to get another level 11. So give it a few seconds, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it decides like, oh, we can put the upgrades back in as well, make it a little bit faster. So then we're gonna make another 11. Yep, here we go. This 11, um, oh, hmm. I'm gonna need a second disenchanter. Reason being is this one obviously auto outputs all of the books into the system. I, I, I don't want that to happen. I just wanna be able to use this separately. So I'm gonna bring it over here. Um, you need essence and power too, don't you? Of course you do. Um, and a gate. You know what I wish? I wish there was an a power equivalent. I, I mean, a fluid equivalent of this. You know what I mean? So I could just like place down a fluid node and then click like, um, you know, essence. And then have an output essence in there. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be cool? It's probably a thing that I just don't know about, but I reckon that would be cool. Um, can I push liquids into this? I can. Okay, you can see at the top, it's actually putting liquids in there. So, all right, here's the next thing. Book goes in here. Um, we're now going to take a level 11 enchant off this, like that. So we now have 11, a level 11 enchant on this book and a level 11 enchant on this book. I'm going to combine them both. We now have a level 12 enchant. Yeah, so this is what I was sort of trying to automate the process of. Um, but I think it's probably safer to just do it manually, isn't it? It's at least what it's looking like at the moment. But wow, this enchantment library is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Sadly, as you can see, it only goes up to level 10 in here, which is unfortunate. But listen, that ain't stopping us. I don't know how high we can go. I don't. There's also some other enchanting. We're going on a bit of an enchanting spree because there's a lot of information about enchanting in this pack that I've clearly just not really understood. Um, so we have 11 or we have 12. We have 11. Let's make um, another 11. So let's grab you and you. That makes an 11. Then we're going to disenchant one of you. I'm going to need a book. I need a book. Book, please. Uh, you just grab a stack. That's, that stack will be fine. Um, so now we have an 11. <laughs> so now we combine the 11 and the 11. No, they don't combine. Okay. Yeah, that was the issue we had before. Um, I do want to try this. Slapping, slapping a tank on top. Does that provide enough or is, it, or is 11 the max? It looks like 11's the max. Okay. 
At, at least, well, well, no, it's not because we've got a 12 right here. What? Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. What's going on here? What is this conspiracy? We we have it right here. <laughs> we have a 12. We know they exist. Don't. No, you can't be pulling this one on us. You can't be pulling a sneaky on us. Let's let's try a let's try a different one. Let's. Try. <laughs> is it the which book's the problem? Ah, oh, it was this book. For some reason, this this one's the issue. Okay. We now have a 12 and a 12. <laughs> let's take the 12 off of one of them. So here we go. And then let's put in the 12 and the 12. Oh my god, there's no way. We get a 13. Oh my god. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. So, I do want to test it over here. I do want to test it over here. I want to test it on this guy. Um, Place that there. We're going to fly over. So we have our pedestal upgrade. I'm going to see if it will go on. Um, There are some things we can do without pedestals. To try and enchant that I want to try out as well. So we'll, we'll do that in a second. So pedestal upgrade in there. This currently has uh, capacity 12. We're chucking 13 on it. Okay. We're not chucking 13 on it. Um, do I need to get it as just a book? Perhaps. Let's see if this works. Yep. There we go. And now we have 13. It can go up to level 225. Okay. Beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> So in order to reach that level, we obviously chuck in some more mana pylons. Um, so let's search mana pylon. Um, we have five more. At the moment, we were at 204. We can go up to 214. So I'm going to break two of them. Place two down. What does that take us to? 228. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess one is probably like more than enough. What does that take us to? 212. Does the health shelf make that health shelf make that too high? It does. Okay. Well, I mean, it's still higher. Um, <laughs> Okay, okay. What can we do here? I, I, I do want to try just enchanting something. Oh, actually, no, we can go higher. Sorry. It just doesn't have the liquid in it. We can go up to 225. That is my bad. That is my bad. 225. What does this take it to? 228. So it's still too high. What? But what I can do is I can actually take off some more until we're there. 224, huh? Didn't see that coming, did ya? Um, let's see what happens if we chuck some books in. Let's see. What, what are we getting? It just says enchanted book. <laughs> Is this a joke? Hold on. They're just saying enchanted book. They don't have anything on them. What is this troll? Okay, we're not doing books then. <laughs> what? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's try um, Milnir again. A classic, a classic test. Let's see. In you go. And there it is. It's enchanted. What do we get? Okay, this is what I'm liking. Look, we got Sharpness 9 right out the gate. Bunch of hammer ones. We got power. We've got... that. That's pretty good. I like the look of that. So we can chuck it over there. It'll come back pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, all right, all right, all right. Time for some different tests, okay? We're going to put this stuff away. We'll put that capacity one away. We'll put this away. We'll put that away. All right, all right. So what is the next thing? The next thing is actually this enchantment table over here, okay? This guy over here, we can we can take him to that next level, apparently. And I want to try that. So let's boom, boom, boom. Place this there. Place that there. <laughs> okay. Um. So first of all, we could chuck on more pearlescent uh, end shelves. So, I mean, let's go ahead and do that, right? Pearlescent end shelf. We're going to need normal end shelves, which means we need bookshelves. My God. <laughs> bookshelves. How many bookshelves can we make? A stack, two stacks, plenty. All right. End shelf. Here we go. Um, we just want normal end shelves. Going to click this here. Going to shift click in a stack. Beautiful. Pearlescent end shelf is what I'm after. Eh. No, I don't think we need... Uh, we might need more. We might need more. And I'll, sh I'll show you why. I'm going to make a stack. Or as many as I can make, I guess, which isn't a stack. Let's make... You know, I, I, want, I want some more. I want some more. Um, so, here's, here's the current situation. Let me get a book. Let me get a book to show you guys what we're dealing with here. Um, obviously, this is a... It's a Minecraft enchanting table. But if you hover over it, it's actually the Apotheosis one, which allows it to um, have all these different bars. These Eterna, Quanta, and Arcana. Um, at the moment, um, you can see a bunch of different stats here. So you can see power range 1 to 192. You can see all the raw XP cost, all that sort of stuff on the left here. Um, apparently, we don't actually want Quanta to be that high. We just don't want it to. Uh, apparently... This um, controls the variance in enchanting. And what that means, I believe, is it allows us to have things like a level 1 enchant or a level 5 enchant when it could be much higher. So how do we get that down? Well, there's a thing called 
a Melon Shelf. This guy takes one away from a Turner, but it takes 10% away from Quanta. So what we're going to do is apparently we need some melons. Um, how many can I make? Uh, plenty, apparently. Plenty. We're going to need glistening melon doohickeys. So let's go ahead and see if we can make some more um, nuggets because we need a bunch of those. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, melon shelf. Glistening melon. Make as many as it will let us. 56. Beautiful. Melon shelf time. Make as many as we can. 10. Okay. So at the moment... We have... Oh, we actually have 48 out of 50. We need an extra end shelf to be placed down regardless, I think. Right? No, we need a draconic, I believe. Um, end shelf. End shelf. We need this draconic one to be placed down. Um, oh, 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 I'm making a mess. Like that. And then that's now on 50. Okay, so that's 50 out of 50. 100, 100. Beautiful. You like to see it. Uh, let's take Quanta down. So I'm going to start off by placing down, I guess... 10 of these because that that should be 100 percent um so let's break that boom boom that is five six seven eight nine ten that is ten okay that should be 100 percent quanta um the rest is still full oh okay so we've already done it it's beautiful <laughs> okay um let's give this a test i'm gonna enchant this what do we get i mean nothing too crazy I'm, I'm not really a fan of it but i mean we'll try again i guess Get another book. See what's see what's happening over here. Scavenger 2. I, I mean, to be honest, I, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> like, is it even better? I can't tell. I genuinely can't tell. Um, okay. Well, like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, anyway, <laughs> this isn't the only thing that I was going to try out. There is apparently another way to enchant things. It... I'll be honest, there's even more ways to probably enchant things. Like, if we search enchant... In fact, can, if I click here, does it tell me? No, it doesn't tell me. Enchanting table, enchanted book. Um, but I believe there are a few different ways. One of which is actually with um, Batania. The other is apparently with um, Astral Sorcery. Now, I know, I know, me and Astral Sorcery, we don't have the best of relationships at the moment. <laughs> but I'm, I'm interested. I'm far too interested to let it slide because apparently it can go up to, like, level 15 right and that that just sounds cool i'm gonna be honest that just sounds cool so do we have it in our book in fact if i search enchant no <laughs> nothing even shows up uh oh no nope, enhanced no I'm, I'm just like hoping one of them is just like oh yeah the enchanter of course that's what we call it the enchanter i might have to google it we might have to like try and figure out exactly what it's called because i i don't know what it's called um and I don't know if it's just going to label it. Like, is it a ritual we need to do? Like, do you attune things? I, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> um, Here is the deal. Here is the deal. So, it is under the constellation uh, part right here. And it is called the Stellar Refraction Table. That's all it is. That's all it is. Quick and easy, right? Quick and easy. So... I'm obviously going to quick and easy, get, get, quick it quickly and easily, <laughs> uh, get all, oh my god, all these mobs, um, <laughs> this is from when I was doing the, uh, tr trying to get the BDDB without realizing it was the wrong dimension, um, hmm, oh yeah, I meant to just whack it with a wand, I was like, what's going on here, this isn't, I don't remember automating this, but no, I did, oh, and it actually works in daytime, <gasps> awesome, okay, because we, we need some of that, so, um, stellar refraction table. Here it is. Um, we're going to need some dyes. We're going to need some infused wood columns, two resonating gems, which I've just made, some ruined sooty marble, and like all this other stuff's pretty easy to get. Um, it's actually just two of any dye. It doesn't look like it actually necessarily matters. Um, okay. That's one done. Let me just get another one real quick. Um, the next question is how do we get this stuff? Uh, two infused wood. Okay. Do we have infused wood? We, we do. We do. So I'm going to grab two of these and then we don't even have the table here. All right. Let me get my second gem. There we go. We'll go back to our new area. I still haven't moved everything because I'll be honest. I was just trying to avoid it, <laughs> uh, but we might have to move it soon. I think what? I just do this. I just go bam. Nope. How do I do it? Infused wood planks. Okay. Okay. I'm listening. And so that's just one of these. Oh, I, I put the wrong thing in. How did they manage that? Um, well, anyway, we're going to make us some planks. How many of these do I need? I do need four, so actually, I might need an extra thing. Um, oh, place um, these two like that. Like that. 
Like that? There we go. <laughs> okay. So it has to be in this specific spot in the crafting table. You can't just put it like anywhere. Apparently. Very odd. Very odd. Um, this actually makes two. So I don't actually need that second piece. This should make um all four. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Um, rune sooty marble is actually made with um ruined sooty marble. Chiseled sooty marble. Okay, or you can just craft it. So we're gonna do sooty marble. I'll get I'll get some extra just in case. And that should have done the thing. Does it need to be in a specific line? <laughs> Hello? What's going on here? What's... Okay, ho hold on. Hold the phone. Bam. What? Chiseled sooty... Oh, it uses some normal sooty marble as well. That's my bad. Okay. Well, there we go. That does appear to be everything. So, um, let me grab out the rest of the stuff we need. So, that's going to be like two dies. Um, whatever the other stuff is, um, like the ruined marble and the star metal. Okay, how about we give this a shot? Bam! That is the full recipe. We will need it to be nighttime, so I'll be right back with nighttime. Okay, it has plenty of power now, and we should be able to turn this bad boy on. I don't think it needs any other, like, you know, specials. We can now see all the sparkly particles. I've never seen those before. So that's beautiful. Um... Yeah, the, the, it should be pretty straightforward. Apparently as well, I, I didn't watch a full tutorial on it because I, I don't usually like watching tutorials. I like to see if the mod itself does a good job, at, at least with my intuition to like explain how it works sort of thing. So we're going to slap it down here. Apparently it doesn't need like any starlight or anything. It just, well, it needs, you know, nighttime, but it, you don't need to link anything up. Um, Okay. I believe as well what we need to do is get our hands on a lens. One of these um ones from Astral Sorcery. So... Um, we'll probably go for this one. This one was what was sort of like recommended because it's pretty cheap. Uh, aquamarines, a glass lens. We'll grab one of those. Um, some aquamarines. We'll just grab out a bunch. And then some blaze powder. Also pretty simple to get. Um, it looks like we might need to craft it a little bit more. So once again, really easy to do. Um, then we search lens, ignition lens, slap it in there. There we go. And turn that bad boy on. The rest of the stuff can go away, I think. I, I'm guessing. Um, I'm going to bring a book with me. Um, I'm going to take that book out. Um, so yeah, I, I'm i still not entirely sure. I think it uses the constellations that are currently in the sky. Currently, we don't see any. Um, let's see. Can I... There's no real interface. Do I right-click this on? Okay. So we have a lens on there now. Progress. <laughs> Progress. Let's see. Um, Astral Sorcery. Stellar Refraction Table. Up to three constellations at a time may be le leveraged. Okay. Assuming they are all in the sky once. All right. All right. I'm, I'm probably not going to read all that. What's this? Just an infused lens. Uh, infused glass. Okay. Hold on. We... Looks like we need a different thing. Um, infused glass. Um, I didn't read entirely what I'm meant to do, but I'm going to just go ahead and make one of these. Um, we're going to need stardust and lens. That should be easy. All right, in goes all the ingredients, just like that, and we can turn it on. So yeah, I, I am glad that we do have, like, some, as much as we can, sort of automated in relation to this, like, the aquamarines and the stardust and the star metal, because that makes our, our job for, like, these recipes so much more easier. Like, it's it's not as much of a nightmare as it otherwise would be. All right, there is our lens. Oh, okay, so we... Oh, now we can see Visio and Dissidia. Um, we're also going to need another lens, I think, so I might actually need to... Grab that, uh, the aquamarines back out and make another ignition lens. I have a feeling that is indeed the case. So that's honestly pretty easy. We can do that. I'll keep the stuff on me as well. Just, you know, just in case, just in case we, we need some more. Um, I still have the book on me. Good. I'm going to try to enchant the book. I'm going to, I'm going to see, I guess how that works. Um, so there we go. Ignition lens. I'm going to slap that in. Beautiful. Um, and then what do I do with the book? Do I drop it on top? Maybe drag this on. Apparently, like, I'm a little bit confused, <laughs> as you can possibly tell. Um, okay. Hmm. Let me, I guess I've got to read the book. I'll read the book. I'll figure out what's happening. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there is a step we have mi missed. We need a parchment. We just need a blank one. No, we actually need... We didn't have a sorcery one. We don't want a um an Ayers Novio one. Because of course there's multiple. Um the parchment goes in, like like so, we actually put a bunch in. And what we can do is we can now drag in these constellations. Now, 
what you're aiming to do here, apparently, is to line up the stars. So as you can see at the moment, if I put it like this, we have one star lined up down there. Um, oh, oh, is it? Oh, I can't, <laughs> I can't move it. Hold on. Okay, we, we can reset it. There we go. Um, which reminds me, I don't really know how to save it then. Um, but th that's, that's essentially the goal here is to try and line up one or two. Like that there, maybe we've got two lined up. Maybe. Um, could we get two lined up there? Oh, that's pretty good. That's like a guaranteed two. Um, is there any other sort of, you know, configuration we can slap this in to get more out of it? I mean, there's almost three there, but not quite. Yeah. No, can I, I can't rotate it. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Um, I might go for this. This looks pretty guaranteed. I'm going to do that. Okay. So now we have, we have this in here. I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't know where to go from here. I think you're meant to put three on. So should I try to put another three on? Should I do like, um, some of this action? Slap one of these bad boys in here somewhere. Um, now you're not meant to use the same, uh, constellations in here. You're meant to use three different ones to get the best result, but... I guess we don't have three different ones. I thought we had a third one. Maybe it's on the sky or something. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Um, where, sh where should I line this one up um, to get the most bang for our buck? Should I try this one? I'll try... Um, um, mm, I'll try this. Wait, is there a star in the middle? I think there is a star in the middle. I'm going to try right there. Oh, and there we go. Etched in fused glass with Visio. And Dissidia. Now, apparently you want to do this during uh, midnight. So you want you want the, uh, the, the moon to be at its highest point, I guess, to make it the best. Okay. So now we take off the parchment, right? And now we put the lens on. Okay. And now it's, um, it's a special, it's a special lens. And then, and then we somehow, we book it. <laughs> and then we somehow book it. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm probably going to have to go watch the tutorial. It's, it doesn't really make sense to me. I'm going to be honest. Does that, oh, well, it makes sense. Look at this. Oh my God. That's incredible. It's beautiful. It's stunning. That's a thumbnail right there. That is a beautiful thumbnail. <laughs> Look at this guy go. In fact, yeah, you know what? Oh, I missed it. We'll, we'll have to enchant another one. All right, let's take this guy out. What does this book have? Feather Falling 3, Riptide 4, Sharpness 5, Power 5, and Channeling. That, that's pretty good. Considering it's two and two um, thingos, two um, constellations, it's, it's just like, you know, I haven't put much effort into this. That, if you were playing vanilla, like you didn't have, you know, crazy enchants, that's that's max level enchants right out the gate. That's um, that's pretty good. Doesn't use experience and stuff as far as I can tell. What I do want though, is more. <laughs> I want more. So, see, we have three. We have these three constellations. And I'm not sure. Oh, can we take that out? I'm not sure why the other one isn't showing up. Maybe it's not in the sky. Maybe it's not. What do we have? Dissidia, Armara. This one right here. Why doesn't this one show up? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Is this a um, step that we're missing that I was meant to do? I don't know. I don't know. Now these you can put, um, I'm breaking on. You can put mending on them. Um, because obviously apparently they have like a durability to them. Um, I kind of want to get my looking glass out and see if I can spot something else. What, what do I need on me? Do I need, I mean, I guess I've got parchments. I'm going to be honest. I still, I'm not entirely sure. Okay. So we've got that constellation. That makes sense. And is there anything else in the sky? <laughs> um, I'm going to be honest. It doesn't really look like it. And how would I know? How obvious is it? You know, I don't, I'm not, not entirely sure what I'm looking for. Um, oh, it's a single right click that you do. I was holding down right click. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. I don't know how to feel about this. We do have an observatory somewhere. We might actually have it back at the other base. Let me go grab that real quick. Um, we're probably close to wrapping up because I, I'm happy that we figured out how that worked, but I would also like to... Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've already... Have we got this one? That's Armara, isn't it? I think that's Armara. Let me, let me double check because we don't want to mess anything up. Armara is that. So that's not Armara. All right, which one is it? Is it Visio or Decidia? It has to be one of them, right? It is Visio. That's Visio. Okay. Let's um go to the next page. Okay, we have a constellation here. There's this line here, 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 and then it looks like it goes up there. It definitely goes here, but I'm not sure in what configuration. Maybe like that? No, maybe not. 
Um, okay. No? Is this <laughs> that not it? Okay, okay, let's um let's reset that. What kind of constellation is this? Now, if you all missed a constellation, you probably already know what this is. I, however, am not Mr. Constellation, so I do not know what this is. How would I know? How do I know which which one it lines up with? You know what I mean? Like, hmm, what are you? What am I looking at? I don't know. Should, should I Google constellations and like figure out which one, which one we're looking at here? Because otherwise, am I just playing a guessing game? I think I am. There's no bigger stars over there. No, I think these are the big stars. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be honest. Um, then that and that. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Look, let me actually. I'm gonna Google constellations, and I'll, I'll I'll come back to you guys with um what my guess is. All right, la ladies and gentlemen. I I'm gonna be honest. Not a clue. <laughs> not a clue. I can't figure it out. Um, I'm kind of just like guessing. And hoping that I get lucky with whatever it is. Um, I, I clearly have no idea what I'm doing though. I, like, I know I'm meant to line them up, but I don't know what order I'm meant to line them up in. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure I'm meant to just guess. <laughs> Which sounds a bit dumb, but I feel like that's what I'm meant to do. Oh my god. Do you, I, I realize what I've done wrong. Okay. So you don't write the constellation down? You just... You have it. So obviously it's the Amara. So this one is what I'm trying to create. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a seventh one that I've been missing this whole time. There's a seventh, like, um, big star. Where is it? Where is the big star? Um, so we're looking for a triangle, right? How big is the triangle? The triangle is pretty big. I think the triangle is this triangle yeah right so we go like this we go like this we do that triangle okay then i need to make like a square so i think that's here i'm looking around to make sure there's no wait wait, wait. hold hold the phone is there a big one over here no it's just an illusion okay big star where's the next big star it's this one here right okay big star and then it says we're meant to add like an extra like step in here, but I don't see another big star. So I'm pretty sure I'm meant to just make a square here and then have this line go off it. And that's meant to be it, I think. But it's not meant to be it because there's meant to be another big square, another big star, sorry. But I can't, I'm looking here and I don't see any other big stars. Um, Like, look, it, it's meant to like, have like an extra, there's an extra star. There's an extra star and there's just no extra star here. What am I meant to do with this extra star knowledge? Let's try, let's try a different shape. Let's do a triangle here. And then we'll come down here and do a, one of these. And then we'll have this line go off there. Is that it? Huh? Maybe? No? What, what is it? What is it? Hmm. The mystery. Okay. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the deal. Um, what I realized was there are multiple, 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 multiple different ones that show up here. Like, look at all these different ones. Each of these pages have like some potential constellation that it could be. Um, I, I can't figure out which one I'm after. And here's the other thing. Like, oh my God, like this is the one we were working on. Um, I say we dig this guy up, we bring him with us, and potentially what we do is try and craft another constellation paper, because apparently you can just craft them. Um, I say just craft them, like it's going to be simple, but I, we never know. We, we never know. I'm going to slap that guy up there. Um, okay, okay. So, to make a constellation paper, let's go ahead and bookmark it. We can make any any type we want, to be completely honest. So, We'll probably start with the with the top. Now, if I click this, what happens? Nothing. Great. Wonderful. I'm going to have to hunt down all these materials. <laughs> now, a lot of them use the same thing. Like if we cycle through here, the feather, parchment, black dye, and stardust is pretty much the same on all of them. So we, we can do that. We can get some, some stardust, some more. The more the merrier, I guess. We can get some feathers and we can get some, um, some parchment. Um, we already have some parchment, so I guess that's good enough. Um, the next thing we're going to need, uh, apparently saplings, sugarcane, seeds. Okay. We can do that. 
saplings. Um, we'll grab these ones. Sugarcane. Oh, hopefully we have that. Sorry, I knocked the microphone. Hopefully you guys didn't feel that. Um, and seeds. Here we go. So that's everything. I imagine we're going to have to like put a constellation. Do we, oh, do I have to? Hmm. I'm going to have to actually put a constellation like on the ground. I don't exactly know how this will work now that I'm looking at it, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I forgot the black die. Black die. Um, here we go. We'll see if this works. Cause at the moment we have like, uh, the city are on the ground, right? No, we have Vichy on the ground. What happens if I just chuck like a, this in here and try to make it? Is it going to let me do that? Uh, apparently it will. Apparently that's what we're doing now. Sure. All right. So I'm going to grab my, all my different goodies there. So the sapling, sugar cane and seeds and wait for it to ask me. Okay. What do I need to put here? A sapling. <laughs> that's not a sapling. Um, a sapling. There we go. So, so it's just your normal constellation thing. I want to, I'm going to be honest. I just want to make one. I want to make one and actually have it work and then attune, you know, three of them onto that little thing we were doing. That, that's all I want to do. Okay. I don't, I don't want to spend too much time doing astral, astral sorcery because it's going to break me. At the moment it's working, but give it, <laughs> give it some time and it'll, it'll find something to annoy me with. In fact, what I'm doing right now may be the thing that it's going to annoy me with. Oh, okay. There we go. We didn't need to use them all. You memorize a drawing of Avitus. Avitus. Where is it? Avitus. Okay. What are we looking at? All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, I was actually, I was trying to do that constellation thinking it was one of these as well. Um, a lot of these really hurt me to look at because it's so confusing. I thought this could be it, but it sort of doesn't add up unless it's like upside down, but they wouldn't do that to you, right? They wouldn't make them upside down. Um, over here. Do we even see a constellation? No. Over here, we do see one. It's sort of over in this direction. It doesn't doesn't look like it. Over here, what do we have? Um, mainly down here. This could be it. Hold on. This might be it. Wait, wait up. Wait a minute. Um, no, it looks like it's one short because it would have been like here and then here and then this could go across and then that could go there. That's what I was thinking this could be because that's pretty close, right? I'm just making sure there's no big star I'm missing. Is there a star there? Wait, hold up. No, it doesn't look like it's just a small one. Um, that looked promising because look at this guy. How close is that? Am I sure I'm not missing missing one? Because that's awfully close, isn't it? Boom, boom. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This goes here. This goes there. There, maybe. But, uh, listen, it doesn't look perfect, but it could still be it. Does that do it? <laughs> no. No, it doesn't appear to be. Okay. I mean, that's, you know, that's roughly, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was roughly it. Okay, well, I, I guess it's not that. Um, the next page, do we have that shape here? Um, oh, th this could be it. Hold on. Go up here. Yeah, yeah, this looks to be it, right? That goes up there. That goes across here. This guy goes down here. Yeah, I think we've got it. I think we've actually gotten it. And that there. Yes, we did it. Oh, no, it turns green when you've got it. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, if I run over here now, we can probably take this guy out, this uh, infused glass. We are going to need more of it. So, hopefully, do I have the stuff on me? We actually do. Beautiful. We're probably going to need some more, yeah, glass, um, the special glass eventually, but beautiful. Uh, listen, I'm on board. I'm on board. Let me grab another book just for this final. This will be the final test, most likely. Most likely, depending on how this goes. Um, so that goes in there. We grab our parchment. The parchment goes in there. And now let's see what we're dealing with. Um, uh, we now have Visio, Avidus, and Dissidia. I'm going to place Avidus down first. Okay. Um, we need to figure out where we can line up these, um, these parts. I'm going to try Dissidia first. Maybe. I guess we'll see. That's almost one there. It's still not quite. That's not quite. That's not quite. These are not the greatest to combine. Oh, that, that sort of works right there. Yeah, that might do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this actually looks really good. I mean, maybe I'll do that. We could do that as well. That works. Um, that's a guaranteed two. This is like a skeptical three. I'll, I'll go for the skeptical three. Uh, ugh. it's not perfect, is it? No, you know what? No, we're trying again. Um, what I wanted to see was if I now do the two... Was it here? If I do the, the two there and get Visio, 
does that unlock like because you can now combine like the you know where they go no that didn't really help now did it no <laughs> i mean i can place that there right and we can have them all overlap there i mean that that seems pretty good eh maybe if i hold oh oh it just like blows my screen i was gonna say like does it tell me something cool all right let's um <laughs> i guess let's try this i'm gonna need i am gonna need another lens another one of these glass lenses that i don't have so that's gonna be four aquamarine um and a glass pane so let me just grab some glass panes um we can probably make a few of these so i mean hey while we're here might as well make a few get the job done once these are done which apparently is that quick we will make the um, lens for the ignition since we have all the stuff for that. Nice and easy. Ignite that. Actually, no, wait, sorry. We don't even need that. My, my bad. We just place a book down now. Yes, we place a book down. I get to get my thumbnail. It's a, it's a happy ever after, isn't it? Look at this guy. Oh, let's get, let's get a few just in case we like, we, we managed to get a screenshot. When, oh my God, it took a lot. Um, we managed to get a screenshot when it's not flashing or something. Um, okay, what is this book? Tell me. Uh, similar, but we've actually got mending on this one. So here's the previous book we had. Here's the new book. Honestly, Riptide was higher on the previous, but then this one also has mending. So it's like, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Look at this mess I've made. Okay. All right. All right. Um, can we make another one? I want to try it again. <laughs> I want to try it again. We can, we can make another one. I want to, one more, listen, listen, one more, one more, just to see what it's going to give us. Nope, not a book and quill. Nope, not that. Nope, nope, book. Yes. All right, come on. Come on. We ain't got all day. Here's my parchment. Here's my parchment. Come on. Yep. Okay, the glass goes on, the parchment goes in. We try this again. This time, I'm thinking I place Evitas there. We get Visio. Where can Visio line up? Um, this probably isn't even Visio, is it? No, it is Visio. Okay. Um, we can get, oh, that, look at that. Eh? That looks like it gets one and two. Then we get Dissidia. Okay. And then, oh, oh, that's, that's looking pretty good right there. Oh my God. I think we've just done it. I think this is going to be the most perfect one you've ever seen in your life. In it goes. This, this one's going to be so good. Trust me, trust me, trust me. <laughs> trust me. It was amazing that these gave the exact same, like, enchants, though. Just a little bit different. Very, very odd. Look at this guy go, though. Very beautiful um, designs in this whole Astral Sorcery mod. Shift right click to take it out, and let's see. Okay. It's worse. <laughs> no, it's better. It's six. Sharpness six and power six. It's actually really good. Okay. Yeah. So now, like this, and it has mending too. Yeah, well, not mending too, but it has mending as well. Um, okay. I mean, it's better. Obviously, we need more of these um, constellations to get a better value, to, or like better ones to overlap. But very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm happy. I think I'm happy. Are you guys happy? Hopefully, you're happy. We, we did some enchanting. So so far, like, that thing's cool. But I think the big takeaway from this episode, if any... Oh, I'm going to all the wrong spots. Um, is that library we set up. Oh, oh my God. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. Help. <laughs> Help. I need my movement back. Oh my God. I might have just crashed. Nope. Okay. We're back. <laughs> it, it full on wasn't responding. It was spinning. Um, if we come over here da, 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 and what am I looking for exactly? Um, this guy right here, this enchantment library is phenomenal because do you know what I can do with these crazy enchants? I can just chuck them in there. How cool is that? And now they're just in here. They're somewhere in here, you know, like we've got so many capacity ones. We can come down here. What do we have? Like shimmer. Uh, where's our mending? Where is mending? How many mendings do we have? Mending. Here we go. How cool is that? Oh, this, this is so nice. I, I really like this. This thing is incredibly, like phenomenally useful. Insanely useful. Oh my God. We can get unbreaking six from this guy. That is so cool. I really like this. I, do you know what I'm actually tempted to do now? I'm going to tell this guy, hey, don't even worry about the focus book, okay? We've got we've got enough capacity. I'm happy with the capacity currently. But do you know what I want? I want you to just chuck books in. <laughs> I want you to just chuck books in. Um, and I'm going to give you, actually, you know what? I'm going to order books to be kept. 
So we'll come over here. Um, go into the 1,000. 1,000 books, please, and make them snappy. Beautiful. All right. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very pleased. I'm very, very pleased with um, the current results. So now what this guy should be doing is just making any old book, any old enchanted book, and they're all just getting piled in here. So this guy's going to, I guess, eventually just fill up with everything, which is awesome. What we could do as well that I've just realized is um, he's going a bit slow. I, I reckon he could do with, you know, maybe a few little upgrades. Um, efficiency goes there. Processing can fill them all up. Speed can only fill up one. So we'll do efficiency, speed, and processing. And there we go. Okay, wait, wait, let's compare this speed. Hold on. Wait, wait for it to do some more. Um, in fact, do we have a regulator in there? No, we don't. Um, that's pretty fast. That's, that's taking what? ETA is one second. If I take these out, ETA is three seconds. If I put only, um, pr uh, processing in, ETA is still, let's see, still three seconds. If I put, um, speed and processing, it's one second. If I do efficiency speed, one second. I don't think processing does it, it does anything in this specific example. We can keep it in there because why not? But I don't think it does much just based on what we saw then. Okay. Um, and all these constellations, if we chose to, we could just put them in our book. There we go. They can stay in there. Okay. Okay. How are we feeling? Do we feel accomplished? Do we feel pleased with, with what we've done so far? We've, we've cleaned out our storage from enchanted books. So it's, it's a lot cleaner now. You can see them getting zipped out there with all their enchants. They have a lot on them too. Hold on. Hold on. I want to see. I want to be able to see what they have. Let's, um... Let's turn exact mode on for a second. That should keep the enchanted books in here. Look at what we're getting. We're getting like growth and pedestal range. We're getting holding four or six, sorry. We're getting like frost walking, night vision, unbreaking. We're getting insane, insane numbers. Let's turn exact off. That should then, oh, that should, yep, clear it up. Let's get, let's go have a quick look. Cause if you remember unbreaking, was it like, oh my God. Yeah, they're filling up fast. Unbreaking was, what were you at? Let's see. It was at six before. Unbreaking now, it's still a six. Um, but I guess it'll get better. It'll get better with time, which is awesome. Okay, yeah, sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do consider subscribing um, to the channel and, and liking the video if you liked it. Um, I like to say that stuff at the end of the video because, you know, obviously you can't... It's weird to like the video before you've even seen it, which, which I always find a little bit weird. But hey, if it works, obviously it works or else they wouldn't be saying it at the start of all their videos. Um, but yeah, if you liked it, consider liking the video. Um, and thank you to everyone who have supported me financially um, on this channel throughout the years. Thank you guys a lot. Um, thank you to everyone who watches ads. Thank you to everyone who has donated to me um, through donation links. And thank you to everyone who has been channel members. Thank you guys a lot. Um, thank you to Gel02, Caden, Oracle, Skeletal Jacob, Oathis, Derby Snow Luna, Mugs, V Rifty, and to Coolest. And then V Rifty and Mugs again because they are, they are not only donated before, but um, they're also channel members, or, or at least they have been. So uh, th thank you guys a lot. And yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.